our little Polovnia patch here is performing very well. They are now almost as tall as the fence around it, some of them. And the green things that you see between, this is Bermuda grass that we seeded here. We bought a bag of Bermuda grass, which usually is used for a lawn. And we distribute it here. This gets frequently watered. And this is working. Here we have started to loosen up the soil in order to plant some of the remaining Polovnia trees. Um, in order just to save them and put them into ground and maybe they will grow. It's not the perfect way, but it's better than to lose them completely. Those are the trees that I was talking about. It is that group of trees where the rats had eaten the leaves. And uh, since then we have kept them here and watered them. And now that we are at the beginning of August, it is high time to put them into the ground because they will have very little time to make roots and stabilize themselves before it might get cold. So probably by the beginning of October, it will then be too cold and they will shed their leaves. We know this from the last time when we planted in August. So it is now very urgent, which is why we will accomplish this this week. The guys also did some cutting here in order to get the volunteers cut down and applied as mulch so that the red missile can grow well and turn red. This is a very spicy pepper. We actually tasted one that uh, was already getting red and it is definitely a very hot thing. This here is becoming a little wetland. This is the place to put the remaining Polovnia trees that we have over there to the right and also a few other plants. So let's see how this goes. As the soil is very, very dry, we decided to wet this overnight and then see that we plant tomorrow. And of course there's an interesting smell, so that is why the dogs come and do their thing. And you might wonder why we do this this way instead of a sprinkler. We had this material. It was hanging right over there from earlier usages. So makes a lot of sense to just reuse it instead of buying new shiny things. So here we have the final result. The wire around this is not hot. The dogs should be able to understand this because they have tried um, this before and speaking about. Here is Schneeflocke who just jumped on me. And what I wanted to tell you is what we have here. So we have planted all the remaining Palovnia trees. It is now very, very late in the year, and the last time we planted Pylovnia is very late, that was not a success. But here we changed a bunch of things, so let me explain what these things are. So first of all we used the excavator and loosened up all the soil. And then we wet the soil so that there is some resident moisture. Um, we have the drip irrigation and we can use it anytime and that is what we are going to do and then we seeded a bunch of things so let me give you a list so in there is some corn 
There are some sunflowers. There is sun hemp in there. The Crotalaria hunsea. There is some okra. And we also seeded some Bermuda grass. The Bermuda grass will be a perennial while the other things are annual. And the idea is not to have a huge success and even be able to harvest the crop, especially the okra. It's just so that something grows, creates some biomass and to see how that works. Because the benefit of this area here is it is right in front of our temporary house. If I open the shade there, I can see it from the office where I have to sit to do my IT work. And everybody walks around here multiple times a day. So we can definitely see this many times a day how it um, evolves, how it develops. And we also planted the Palovnia trees, quite dense. That is on purpose. Because apparently a lot of trees and other plants like to be in the company of other plants. Which is why the Miyawaki method works. So let's see how that goes. It's another experiment. And it should indicate us how to continue with the whole idea of planting a forest. Uh, this wasn't planned. It just happens because um, we have these trees and we were not able to put them where we originally intended them to be. So this is what uh, yeah, we came up with because of we have the opportunity. Um, here you see a little bit too much water. So I turned it off, but the sun is very hot and this should sink in. And hopefully the tree that is sitting next to it will not drown. And we also added a little bit of soil from the back to cover the seeds. And on top of that, as you can see, we put the straw. It is pretty loose, not very, very thick, because we want the seeds to germinate and then the young plant emerge out of the straw. So we will see how that goes. And what I also can mention is how long this took. So today, besides the animal chores and other routine things, um, the whole time was used to plant and seed and put the straw there. And yesterday, in a similar way, a couple of hours went by by using the excavator to loosen up the soil here and also fill the trench that we had in here. So it is a little bit time consuming even in a very very small scale because this is some 50 square meters max. So you can imagine what it will take to do the very same thing in a much larger area to give some perspective. This here is also Bermuda grass. When there is some water and nobody wants to eat it, it does grow. It sits here at the edge of the platform that we built a little while ago. And the drip irrigation gets turned on once in a while. So maybe once in a week or once every two weeks in order to maintain the vetiver so that the vetiver is holding this platform together. The vetiver would not need it, but as we had very little rain, the ground here is uh, dry and we need to give it a little bit boost. So the other year that was not needed, but this time it is. Later on, before the vetiver goes into its dormancy over autumn and winter, we will cut it and probably use some of the material as mulch in the wannabe food forest or in other places. Because here the mulch is not so much needed, 
there is already enough material and we rather use the green part instead of the straw in those other places and uh, kick the straw down the slope because that is much more convenient and to get this platform cleaned up a little bit. That was it for today. It's a little bit shorter than usually, but expect more interesting things regarding building a forest during the upcoming week. See you then. Bye.